Hi. For the Windows operating system to work properly, you need three main partitions. First partition contains boot files that are responsible for pointing to your installed operating system. Second partition contains Windows operating system. Third partition contains Windows recovery environment, which is helpful for troubleshooting and resetting your PC. Windows partition is the most important partition to make an image of it from disk 0 to disk 1. Because the data in the first partition can be created from Windows partition, and the data in the third partition can be obtained from any Windows installation media. Or you can download Windows, same as yours, then copy and paste Windows Recovery WIM file. I'll show you how to copy or clone Windows from one disk to another without using any third-party software, just using the Windows built-in utility tools, DISM and DiskPart. Don't forget, before proceed, back up your personal data on an external drive. All steps in this video are done using Oracle Virtual Machine, and it's identical to the real machine. In this virtual machine, I have two disks. First one is HDD, holding my Windows system. Second disk is empty, SSD. So basically, this video all about how to copy Windows from HDD to SSD without any software. And in the virtual DVD disk, I have one PE attached. It's optional. If your Windows doesn't have recovery environment, then you have to use one PE. I also made a video tutorial about that in the video description. Let's start. I'll view the virtual machine in full screen mode. And let's make the text size a little bigger to be able to see clearly what we are doing. Right click on Windows Partition. We need to have storage space equal to the used space in order to save Windows image. You can use USB flash drive, but since I have free space in my Windows partition, I can shrink it and create new partition to hold the captured Windows image. Because I can't save the captured Windows image in the same Windows partition. Search for Disk Management. Open up Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Right click Windows Partition, Shrink Volume. We can shrink it to the same used space or more. Used space is 18 GB. I can make it roughly 19 GB. Click Shrink. Right click an allocated space, New Simple Volume. Next, next, next. Give it a label, underscore, storage. Next. Click Finish. Now search for system information. Open it. You need to find out your BIOS mod. Is it UEFI or Legacy BIOS? Mine is UEFI. Open your Internet Browser. Search for Microsoft Sample Scripts. Click on Sample Scripts Microsoft Documents. 
scroll down and search for create partitions with the correct BIOS mod. My BIOS mod is UEFI, so I'll copy create partitions UEFI. Not this one with FFU extension. Click copy. In storage partition, create new text file. Name it create partitions UEFI. Paste the content. You need to find out the correct disk number. Open up disk management. I have two disks. Disk 0 is the main disk, holding the current running windows. Disk 1 is the destination disk. This is the one we need to create partition layout for it. So change disk number to 1. Save it. Close everything. Now we have to restart and boot into recovery environment by simply pressing and holding Shift key, then click on Restart. Click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Command Prompt. Choose your account and enter your password if you have one. Let's make the phone size slightly larger. Type disk part. List disk. Select disk 0. List partition. As you can see, disk 0 contains Windows system. Select partition 5. Assign letter, list volume to see the letters associated with each partition. Exit. Now let's prepare disk 1 by running sample script that we've downloaded. Type disk part, switch S, and the path to the text file that contains partition layout codes. The disk is partitioned and ready to hold Windows image. Now, let's capture Windows image with DISM utility. But before running DISM command, it's better to run this code to speed up deployment process. In fact, I forgot to run this code. It's optional, but it's worthy. I'll put the code in the description below. Type DISM, switch capture image, Switch image file. Where do you want to save the captured Windows image? I'll save it in storage partition. Switch capture directory. Specify the partition letter that contains Windows system. Switch name, name it anything. Hit enter. The Windows system has been captured and saved in D, storage partition. It's time to apply the captured image into W partition in the disk 1. Type DISM, switch apply image, switch image file, specify the path to the captured Windows image, switch apply directory, I'll apply it to the W partition and the disk 1. Switch index 1. Windows system has been applied successfully on disk 1. 
but it is not bootable yet because system partition is empty. We have to copy boot files from Windows partition into system partition. Type bcd boot, take boot files from Windows folder and save it in S system partition. The firmware that I'm using is UEFI. The last thing to do is to configure recovery partition to use recovery environment. First, make this path in recovery partition. Make directory recovery and Windows recovery environment. It's case sensitive, so make sure to write it in this way. Now, copy the hidden Windows recovery environment image from recovery partition that has the letter T into recovery partition R. X copy hidden file from partition T on disk 0 into partition R on disk 1. That's it. Type WPE util shutdown. Windows system with boot files and recovery environment have been transferred successfully from disk 0 into disk 1. We don't want disk 0 anymore, so deattach it. We left with disk 1 and DVD disk. Boot into BIOS. Choose second disk. This step just in virtual machine. You don't have to do it in real machine. Recovery partition has recovery image, but Windows doesn't know about it. So we have to correctly point Windows to recovery partition. First, let's delete old configuration recovery file. Navigate to Windows, System32, Recovery, Delete Recovery Agent XML file. Recovery partition is hidden. Let's assign it a letter to make it visible. Open up Command Prompt as an administrator. Type disk part, list disk, select disk 0, list partition, select partition 4, assign, exit. To register new recovery environment path, type recovery agent component, switch set recovery image, switch path and specify the path, switch target for Windows and C partition. Enable the recovery component, type recovery agent component, switch enable. Let's make sure it's enabled successfully. Type recovery agent component switch info. Windows recovery environment status is enabled. Close all windows and restart. That's all. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.